Corpus versus CA, facts of the case. The petitioner previously worked with the central bank. He was charged administratively by several employees of the central bank export department. After the investigating committee found the administrative charges to be without merit and subsequently recommended the immediate reinstatement of the defendant, the then governor of central bank, Miguel Cuaderno Sr., recommended that the defendant be considered resigned on the ground that he had lost confidence in him. The Monetary Board, by a resolution of July 20, 1959, declared the defendant as resigned as of the date of suspension. The petitioner, through attorney Rosaro Alvarez, filed the court of first instance of Manila a petition for certiorari, mandamus, and co waranto with preliminary mandatory injunction and damages against Miguel Cuaderno Sr., the central bank governor. This case was later on dismissed. Attorney Juan David was sought by the father of the petitioner to help with the case after the case was dismissed. Since then, David has helped with the case. Petitioner Marino Corpus contends that Respondent David is not entitled to attorney's fees because there was no contract to that effect. On the other hand, Respondent David contends that the absence of a formal contract for the payment of attorney's fees will not negate the payment thereof because a contract may be expressed or implied. And there was an implied understanding between the petitioner and private respondent that the former will pay the latter attorney's fees when a final decision shall have been rendered in favor of the petitioner, reinstating him to his former position in the central bank and paying his back salaries. The issue of the case is whether or not attorney won David is entitled to attorney's fees. The ruling of the court is that, yes, attorney David is entitled to attorney's fees. While there was no express contract between the parties for the payment of attorney's fees, the fact remains that respondent David rendered legal services to petitioner corpus and therefore, as aforestated, is entitled to compensation under the innominate contract ut fascio ut des. And such being the case, Respondent David is entitled to a reasonable compensation. In determining a reasonable fee to be paid to Respondent David as compensation for his services on a quantum merit basis, the extent of the services rendered by Respondent David should be considered, together with the extent of the services of Petitioner's other counsel, Attorney Rosauro Alvarez. It is undisputed that attorney Rosauro Alvarez had rendered legal services as principal counsel for more than six years, while respondent here David has rendered legal services as collaborating counsel for almost four years. It cannot be denied that both attorney Alvarez and respondent David were instrumental in obtaining substantial benefits for petitioner corpus, which consisted primarily of his reinstatement recovery of back salaries, and the vindication of his honor and reputation. But note should also be taken of the fact that Respondent David came at the crucial stage when the case of Petitioner Corpus was dismissed by the lower court. There was no contract for contingent fee between Corpus and Respondent David. Contingent fees depend on an express contract, therefore. Thus, an attorney is not entitled to a percentage of the amount recovered by his client in the absence of an express contract to that effect. Considering the aforestated circumstances, the court held that the reasonable compensation of Respondent David should be 20000 as attorney's fees.